Greetings from the other side. It's Sin Sable here, and welcome to another reaction video. And you know, the type of video where we react to things, and I'm reacting to said things. Maybe the reaction video is about a, somebody reacting to a thing, and then we're in a reaction. That's not a thing. That's dumb. But anyway, uh, so we're going to be reviewing the next death battle. As you saw before, it is Bowser versus Dr. Eggman, right up there in the corner. But before we start anywhere, I want to take a moment to thank everyone who tuned in to the last death battle, the Joker versus Giorno. Literally, it was amazing because of all the views that I got, all the comments, and all the interactions, as well as all the likes and comments. Um, it was very insightful, and I really appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll get the same traction here. And again, if you enjoyed the um, stuff, feel free to drop a subscribe down below. I'm trying to hit 500, 500 subscribers. That would be amazing. But let's just jump into it. But uh, before we start, I'm going to call Bowser. I, I think Bowser has this just because of the whimsical nonsense and also, Death Battle has a tendency to make it so that certain characters from the same franchises scale to other characters in the same franchises. For example, in this battle, they might scale Bowser to Mario because they're constantly fighting. Versus Eggman, who constantly scales to Sonic. And then you just go back to that death battle between Mario versus Sonic. But I guess only time will tell. Let's see what happens. Also, I uh, there's going to be a lot of pausing. I I only skimmed the like death battle previews that they do, and I know that there's a lot of characters that are going to be touched on in this. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of pausing and uh, breaking. Wait, Marvel Snap? They're they're sponsored by Marvel Snap again. Okay. This battle is sponsored by Marvel Snap and Prize Picks. Oh, Prize Picks. That's something new. Ooh. <laughs> Bowser versus Dr. Eggman, the king of the Koopas and the baddest of bandits. And they're not alone. He's with my boomstick. And when was the last time they did a war? Like, wasn't it? A death battle. Wasn't it ironically Dr. Eggman and Dr. Wily? Ah, the Mushroom King. Oh god, there's already a black box. All official material related to a character is applied to an analysis unless found contradictory to primary source material. This includes English translations, certain alternate audio media, theatrical releases, and crossovers, e.g. Mario, Koon, and Smash Bros. are not applicable. Okay. Bowser. The orphan star child was found by Kamek. It was clear Bowser would command the disparate outcasts of the mushroom world. The Koopa clan. Sadly, not everyone's born a toad, and they treat these critters like monsters, fated to a life of infinite junk farming for one up. Bowser wants Oh, come on. King Bowser Koopa, age 34 years. Really? Is that is that old for a Koopa? Height 10 feet tall. Family Bowser Jr. comic Koopalines, his dead brother. He had a brother? What? Is that like a is that like a comics thing? Obvious dancing, golf, go karts, and tennis. Favorite food: cake, drumsticks, steak. Loves Princess Peach. His family hates the Mario Bros. Yoshi and swimming. Okay. Different world, but Princess Peach Toadstool would never allow the evil king's day in the sun. Her light was so bright, Bowser became infatuated with her. So he turned oh, no. into bricks and kidnapped her, putting their 
princess in another castle and another another and another <laughs> Spoiled time and time again by those pesky Mario brothers. However, Bowser is nothing yep. if not persistent. Look at him! Dude's built like a brick house strapped to a saw trap. That spike shell takes the whole <laughs> punishment. That's wildly a specific a saw trap. Especially when he rolls up like a prehistoric Beyblade. And the Koopa King doesn't just breathe fire and control lava, he commands nature itself. Spitting meteors what? from outer space, beckoning the earth with a oh. They're covering Mario RPG too? Oh, just a little dabbling in dark magic. Oh no. By your breath immense strength, inhale, size alteration, magic, duplication, elemental evocation, reality, warping, shape shifting, teleportation, time travel, and transmutation. <laughs> Enhanced form castle Bowser, dreamy Bowser, dry Bowser, fury Bowser, Meowser. That last one. Oh, they're give so wait they're they're giving them. Oh, they're they're doing Super Mario RPG. They're giving them the magic from freaking Mario Party Two. Oh, this is gonna be chaos. I can already tell. Hell yeah, Wizard Turtle. The original Wizard Turtle. Turtle. Describes him as a sorcerer king. Magic is how we turn the toads into bricks. Only Wait a minute. If he's the Sorcerer King too, why didn't they put more emphasis on this when he fought Ganondorf? For those who don't know, there was a death battle a long time ago. It was uh, Bowser versus Ganondorf. And Ganondorf just wiped the floor with him. Only countered by the princess's heart magic. But that's not all the magic he's mastered. Telekinesis, creating perfect clones. Reanimating his undead skeleton, and worst of all, yep. ruining every game of Mario. Party. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. I square. <laughs> that sounds about right. Coins, magic star rods, warships, clown cars, you name According to Miyamoto, Paper Mario is canon. Oh no. Paper Mario is canon. Mainline games frequently reference it and vice versa. In these games, Bowser resists time stops and a star rod matches the star spirits who created Dream Depot. Oh, great. Universal scale. Great. <laughs> this is the same guy that created yep. multiple flying castles fashioned after his own face. Yeah, he's definitely got an ego on him. He's talked about having a four digit IQ. Seen this moron put death traps in his own backyard. A man after my own heart. Despite his clumsiness, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Bowser. Many to his side. Not enough to defeat Mario, but his army doesn't make it easy. Unless it, I don't know, it's it's our Archie comics this side of world canon. The Koopa Troop, an army spanning multiple territories across the Oh god, here we go. Goombas, Koopas, the Troopas, and the others make up the infantry. <laughs> And some even in race cars. They're the red shirts. First in and first out. Koopas! Goombas! The, the, those other things. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. The Mario movie was so great. I can't wait for the sequel. Let's see. So Koopa Troop. You got Bowser Jr. Elite Trio. Comic. King Babam, King Boo, Kami Koopa, King Goomba, Koopaline, Speedy Piranha. Oh, those are the generals. Uh, the troops are Chain Chomp, Charging Chuck, Goomba, Hammer Bro, Koopa Troopa, Magic Koopa, Piranha, Plant, Guy Guy, Wiggler, Airship Fleet, Babam, Brutals. Wait, Brutals? Which ones were those? I don't remember. Bullet Bill, Lakitu. Para units, aquatic forces, blooper, cheap cheap, hucky crab, mall ray, rib band fish, on dead horde, booze, bone, piranha plants, dry bones, Mr. Eye, and peepas. Yep, I remember the eyes. Uh, literal rocks. <laughs> literal rocks. Pump, flop, rump, flop, flop, whip, and wop. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Try, re start, try saying that ten times fast. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> oh, no. It was imperative for Bowser to nurture a unit that covers their own vulnerabilities. For example, Kamek and King Boo both have magic, but... Hold on. Kamek can transform troops into copies of Bowser. King Boo can grant intangibility to others and disable an opponent's powers. Oh, God. Boo has battlefield control with illusions and destabilizing dimensions, while Kamek focuses on buffing allies, canceling enemy powers, summoning anything he desires. Or swapping my items to screw up my Mario Party lead. Not again. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, Since when was that a thing? I mean, I guess it was always a thing. But as the Koopa Troop grew and grew, it started to feel less like an army and more like a family unit. Oh, here we go. We're getting into Bowser Jr. <laughs> oh, are they adopted? Dark magic. I mean, that that explains it. Remember his escapades as Shadow Mario? He terrorized Delfino Plaza with literal evil paint. That yep. whole debacle was basically his attempt. Oh God! Oh no! 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 Chat. People watching that boss right there. Pain in the ass. God damn. Fucking Super Mario Sunshine was no joke. That and the freaking there was a level where the entire like stage was covered in paint and you basically had to swim through a river to first start cleaning it cuz you didn't have flood because fucking Bowser Jr was like, "Hey, oh, I must steal your flood." I'm like, "No, please don't do that." And he did it anyway. So rude. Anyway, art class. I had to say that. Still has some on the fridge, but really, the king is very protective of his kids. If the fam's in trouble, he can will himself to transform into a giant kaiju. Oh, crush whatever bullies tug at smack. Maybe a little overkill. Just one punch from Giant Bowser launched a castle out of orbit. Taking into account the light Jesus. And the scale of their universe, Bowser's punch must have hit with a force of over 125 trillion tons of TNT. Considering how Yoshi punted poor Raphael the Raven so hard he exploded into a constellation of stars, this isn't even close to Bowser's full strength. So don't bully his kid, especially if he falls into some of Bowser Jr.'s set of black paint. That stuff's scary. Enough to unleash Bowser's dark fury, a form whose very steps cause widespread natural disasters. Okay, seriously, how does Mario ever oh, beat this guy? guy? He's like Godzilla, Doctor Strange, and John Cena all in one. John Cena. Bowser's dark magic became so potent he eventually learned how to warp the very fabric of reality. Anything the king imagines, he makes happen. He turned all of oh, his God. Into a storybook. And remember those painted worlds in Mario 64? Yeah, he made those. And the staircase that goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. Oh, God, does anyone know how to be LJ? He also stole ultra powerful items like the one. <laughs> okay, what did they give him this time? Dreamstone, Flying Castles, Galaxy Generator, Koopa Clown Car, Power Stars, and Grand Stars, Pure Heart, Star Rod, Wonder Flower. Cat Bell, Super Crown, Double Cherry, Metal Box, and many, many more. Ugh. Flower, which can mold reality like Play-Doh, and the Dream Oh, God. To wish someone out of existence. No. Thefts are those big, shiny power stars. Don't judge a book by its cover. Infant power stars, a.k.a. Lumas, can become whole galaxies. They also ferried Mario across the universe in three seconds. That's 489 quadrillion times light speed. Ultimate Mario characters have performed similar universe traversing feats, such as the Millennium Star, Dribble, Spits, and Prankster Comets. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Like, I just don't see how fucking Eggman could beat him with all of this whimsical nonsense. 
caused a chain reaction that destroyed the entire universe via a massive granted who knows like ah uh, Ro oh they're getting in super mario galaxy now too Rosalina survived this cosmic implosion and is implied to have witnessed multiple bing bangs. Bowser had directly battled Rosalina in several games after the events of Super Mario Galaxy, suggesting a comparable level of power. Yep. More shenanigans of comparing uh, levels of power based on, you know, fights like that. To save the day. Not that Bowser needed saving. He's been swallowed by another black hole and thrown into a star that went supernova. Imagine if this crazy OP fire turtle had to fight himself. Oh, wait, he did, and he beat the hell out of him. With all his power, <laughs> it's a wonder he still hasn't conquered. Conquered most of the universe twice, harnessed the powers of grand stars, flew to the sun and other galaxies, lifted a 61,000 ton castle, battled the extra dimensional collects, survived being thrown across the planet, helped Mario save the Mushroom Kingdom, defeated Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Dementio, the Fall Fool. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, because Fall Fool was from uh, Super... Not Mario, Super Mario. It's uh, Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga. God, I, I still need to play the new one that just came out, The Brotherhood. Is it any good, actually? His visions of grandeur were never really what he sought. Surrounding him is a crew of outcasts and miscreants like him. Rioter dies that can't be swayed against him. Oh, are you saying he's secretly happy because he's got a big monster family now? Yes, but also when they actually work together, they legitimately conquered most of the known universe. So he's a baddie through and through who will teleport through space and time to show you what's what. Because he's no ordinary Koopa. Make way for the king. Oh, that's beautiful. I love how they have the game over at the end there, too. That's cool. Okay, after that... Yeah, I'll be honest. I, I, I'm, I'm doubling down. Uh, fucking Bowser all the way. Because, honestly, I don't see... I mean, sure. Freaking Eggman has what? Eggman has, well, if they give, if they give Bowser all that other stuff from the sub stories and everything, I'm sure they're going to give Dr. Eggman, uh, Sage, Infinite, Metal Sonic. I'm just trying to think of the other characters that they have. The thing is, too, because, like, even if Bowser destroys the entire army, like, it's practically game over, because I don't think... Dr. Eggman himself can actually, you know, withstand the amount of power that Bowser has. I don't know. Let's jump in, though. This battle is sponsored by Prize Picks. Oh. Prize Picks is the best place okay. Add. There. Oh, God, Jake Paul. Oh, God, here we go. Oh. Uh <laughs> All official material related to a character is applied to analysis. Same thing. Uh, certain alternate media, theatrical releases, and crossovers, Archie Sonic are not applicable. Okay, so they're not giving him Archie Sonic. Although, if he loses, I'm curious how the result would change if they actually gave him Archie Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm something of a scientist myself. He's a genius at heart who knows the dangers within. He's Ivo Robotnik. Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman, let's go. This story is my inspiration. Just as Eggman's was his grandfather, Gerald Robotnik, who sought to create... In the saggy flesh. But then his beloved granddaughter, Maria, was killed by the Guardian Unit of Nations, better known as... Gun. Freaking called G. Anyway, like he grew up a lonely narcissist because all his family talked about was Maria this, Maria that. Boo -hoo -hoo. Neglect and envy tainted Ivo's goals of Wait, is world's footsteps. So is Maria Dr. Robot or Dr. Eggman's cousin then? Okay. See, I've I've played like Sonic Adventure 2 and um 
I, I'm not as familiar with Sonic as um, Mario, but I, I do remember at least Mario from Sonic Adventure 2. But I don't think I paid much attention to the story. Because that was so many years ago, and I would just play the games just to play them, not really be invested in story. He distanced himself from his grandfather's legacy. I guess that, that's one of the reasons why I like Death Battle, too, is because they actually go in depth about these characters, so it's crazy watching it and being like, oh, I didn't know that about this character. <laughs> Let's see, Dr. Ivo Robotnik, age 50 plus years, height 6 foot 1. Family Gerald Robotnik, Maria Robotnik, Eggman, Nega, and Sage. There we go, Sage. Occupation, CEO of Eggman Industries, Meteor Tech, and uh, various casinos. Obvious archaeology, history, woodworking, favorite food, egg dogs, egg candy, egg poppin, egg cook, this delicious <laughs> That's got a... That's gotta be a reference to something. <laughs> Loves himself, Agent Stone, and his daughter. Oh, Sage. Yep. Does he actually love Sage? I I didn't I never played Sonic Frontiers, so I I only know the character. I don't know much about the, like their relationship. Hates that headshot. <laughs> also close. <laughs> Oh. Yep, that blasted hedgehog. Blew up in his face. And he's a very sore loser. But just like any good experiment, the doctor did more testing, seeking better results. He's created plenty of knickknacks to terrorize the world with. A laser gun, a cloning ray, mind control cannons, a flying armada, typical evil scientist stuff. Then there's the big There it is. He invented a spatial displacement trap, which, while online, scatters the target's atoms across space. Oh, and then there's the metal virus, which transmutes organic tissue into living metal zombies. Uh, oh, so no. Deadly, it created a plague that nearly wiped out all life on Earth. Damn, Eggman never made himself immune to it. That's a whoopsie. And when he's not duping you with decoys, he's riding in style. But wait. Eggmobile. It's lightweight for maneuverability, but tough. Even if they get used the metal virus, it doesn't matter. Center of a black hole. I mean, because it's... Because even with the metal virus, sure, it can infect the army, but because of Bowser's power, he, he could just basically nuke his own army. Right? But you'd still have to take down Bowser to win the battle. The Sonic Encyclopedia confirms the hyper go on black hole had an event horizon in the Wisp energy comprising it manipulated gravity. Did they lame looking, but he can plug it into big bad mechs like the egg walker. Oh, yeah, robot whose giant laser would obliterate the death egg robot from Sonic 2. That's like having an atomic bomb in your pocket all the time. Oh, okay, maybe this guy's pretty cool. Eggman built machines for a long He is cool. Situations some look like knights, others use extraterrestrial sources like the wisps, and then there's the orbital bases like the death egg. Death egg. to say Eggman doesn't enjoy scrapping with blue hedgehogs himself. Enter the Egg Dragoon. Hell yeah! The Egg Dragoon? What was the Egg Dragoon from? Which which game was that? Big Arms, Death Egg, Orbital Station, Final Egg Blaster, Death Egg Robot, Emek, Egg Dragoon, Egg Emperor, Egg Mobile, Modular Hovercraft with Teleportation, Attachable to mechs like the Egg Walker. Uh, I'm trying to think because I, I feel like it was from a newer game. Isn't it from Sonic Generations? Like with the 3D version of it? Maybe. The battle mech. It's got electric drills. It's got ice missiles. It's got a whole lot of bullets. My God, Wiz. I... Oh, God, there's more. <laughs> oh, God. I, it's a good thing I caught this as it flipped. Egg Salamander, powered by soul emeralds, can create spatial rifts. 
egg wizard made with the power of the jeweled scepter egg viper egg wyvern uh the wisp armor time eater sentient entity that controls space and time converted into a manageable cyborg by two eggmans World domination is in his grasp yet. One problem. Eggman's a turbo loner. No hobbies, no friends, <coughs> no wife, no nothing. Come on, he has friends. I mean, he's a feminist. Oh, okay, what? maybe not. But what about infinite? Infinite. Sure forces oh, no. Against Shadow, but it counts. Sort of. Who needs friends when he can build friends? Obviously, Eggman has... Exactly. There we go. Foot soldiers, fuzz bombers, crab meats, scatter killers, egg robos, and don't forget those cute little moto bugs. The bandits may seem simple, but they're led by an elite, multi talented unit. The hard boiled heavies really leaning into the egg thing, huh? The army has a wide variety of. Alright, here we go. Leaders, decoy, infinite. Oh my god, they. <laughs> infinite. They actually gave him infinite. Okay. Metal Sonic, Orbot and Cubot, Sage, uh, Bad Nicks, Batbot, Buzz Bomber, Caterkiller, Chopper, Coconuts, Crab Meat, Egg Robo, Hotoru, Hotoru, Jaws, Motobug, Ormonaut, Rexon, Valkyrie, Super Bad Nicks, Death Crab, Hard Boiled Heavies, Ladybug Boss, Uber Caterkiller, E Series, E1001 Beta, E102 Chaos Gamma, E121 Fei, E1000, E2000R, the Metal Series, Mecha Sonic, Mecha Knuckles, Tails Doll, Rocket Metal, and Shadow Android. Did they actually... Oh, they're not giving them Shadow, like, normal Shadow, actually. Wait, no, because that's a creation of Gerald Robotnik, not uh, Eggman. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm going to take a second, actually. Am I the only one for the longest time was being an idiot and thought that Dr. Eggman and Dr. Robotic were the same people. I I kid you not. I feel like an idiot for just realizing it. But God, how embarrassing. Where was I? All right, pawn series. Uh, Egg Bishop, Egg Chaser, Egg Hammer, Egg Knight, Egg Pawn. Egg Fleet, Egg Carrier, Final Fortress, Mike, Michael Gunships, and Sky Fortress. Troops, even your classic comedy duo with Orbot and Cubot. They're Eggman's assistants and immense disappointments. Every genius has their duds. Hey, at least they're not scratching grounders. But oh, God, I remember that from the cartoon. Like everyone's favorite Robo Faker, Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic yeah. has the most horsepower in the Eggman Empire. He has the moves and speed of Sonic. And Oh, here we go. In Sonic CD, Sonic dodges light beams from Hotaru's. And the Japanese manual states he must reach light speed to use the game's time travel mechanic. Sonic also outpaces light speed Cyan Wisp in Sonic Colors DS. So, Metal Sonic can keep up with regular Sonic. And then if they're giving Sonic access to basically the light speed... <laughs> and then some. He's had his rebellious phases, but Eggman's reprogrammed Metal to better follow his commands. Additionally, when upgraded to his Neo form, Metal Sonic could copy biological data, including unique powers like Shadow All Sonic right. Technique, Chaos, Metal Sonic even has its own forms. Psychokinesis, and with enough chaos energy, he powers up into Super Neo Metal Sonic. Though everything would change with the appearance of the Phantom Ruby. One of many trump cards at Eggman's disposal, the Phantom Ruby alters reality by manipulating perception. Basically, oh. the illusion, but in Infinite's hands, it's a weapon of mass destruction. I don't know. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into stuff I'm not familiar with. The Phantom Ruby can create pocket dimensions such as null space and the egg field. Eggman invented prototype copies of the Ruby, which require enormous levels of power to operate. Okay, one second, actually, too, about Metal Sonic, because I almost forgot about Neo Metal Sonic, the Neo form, as well as if they give him uh, Overlord. But this, 
This is stupid. But I don't know. I still feel like Bowser got this. It feels like a lot of Eggman's kid is like, you know, battlefield removal. Like putting them into their own pocket dimension. Maybe, maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Is a thing. The ruby granted Eggman the light man form. Yep. Oh God! They gave him super Eggman form. What? This is a thing. Oh my God. <laughs> but can Super Eggman beat Goku? Great question. We'll never find out. Don't, don't, don't Google. Don't, don't comment down below. That. Stop. Stop comments. Don't do that. With the Phantom Ruby prototype and weeks of preparation, Super Eggman could manipulate memories, fight on par with Supersonic, and summon imitations of other monsters and worlds such as Perfect Chaos and Green Hills. So what? He just basically could just manipulate... So what, he could just summon basically worlds. That's that's just wild. Super Eggman is canon, so it is pretty complicated to manifest. But the Phantom Ruby isn't the only souped up gem Eggman has. He's used the jeweled scepter to make the world shattering egg wizard. Then on more than one occasion, he's Oh, here we go. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Oh God, I, sh no, hold on. Effortless. There, I'm not stopping on that frame. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Cloning device, <laughs> chaos emeralds, dark rings, egg fiat, fiat, comments. You know why I'm not stopping on that. Come on, don't be silly. Dark Rings, Egg Field, Hypergolon, Jetpack, Jeweled Scepter, Laser Guns, Metal Virus, Mind Control Ray, Nightmare Fuel, Phantom Ruby, Shrink Ray, Soul Emerald, Spatial Disruption Trap, Super Form, Light Man, Teleporters, Time Reversal Machine, Time Stones, and more. I'm... and built and built and eventually he built something that started to build on him yes designed as a mere assistant but through an alien encounter she was granted actual sentience there we go powerful, but now she's also super smart she thought up millions of battle plans all at once to defeat the massive titan and you can barely remember where you put your dune bug i know exactly <laughs> where it is it's at the police impound thank you very much oh so, no that's where the Kickstarter money went. But Sage's great adequacy in serving her function provided Eggman with something that, for the first time, he'd hate to lose. In essence, a, a sort of daughter. So, like any good daddy, gave her the keys to his car, his spaceship, and his orbital death ray. Hell, now she controls the entire army. And this frankly unheard of trust from Eggman became crucial in defeating the end. A primordial entity so mighty, even Supersonic struggled against it. Their battle can only be described as peak fiction. Because oh. seven chaos emeralds, Supersonic, no joke. The power of one emerald can shift continents. All, all right. Uh, I conquered most of the planet once. Harnessed the power of the chaos emeralds. Broke the moon with the eclipse cannon. Eggmobile flew to the moon in seconds. Destroyed the guardian unit of nations. Destroyed the gun. <laughs> Let some beloved villains and Zavok <laughs> has helped Sonic the Hedgehog save the world, defeated Sonic, Tail, Starline, Gemeral. Hold on, going back though to that battle with front at Frontiers. Did Sonic get like a cyber form or something? Like I saw some weird like pixely crap back there, but like, did he actually get like a? A form stronger than Super Saiyan? Uh, not Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's Supersonic. 
That would be absolutely bonkers. And kill some pretty terrifying bosses like Eggman's Time Eater, which ripped apart space time like tissue paper. Oh, I remember. That's was. That was from uh, Sonic Generations. And Sonic Rush, the Chaos Emeralds, could have destroyed the universe when reacted to the Soul Emeralds. Also, super forms utilizing chaos scale above the speed of the Paradox Prism and Time Eater, destroying the universe in less than 10 seconds? What? Who tried to destroy time itself. Solaris extended its chaos across multiple timelines in about 20 seconds, or 73.3 trillion times light speed. It's funny, though. While Eggman's smarts have sort of defeated Sonic here and there, he's pretty effective when he teams up with the Blue Blur to save the world. Well, recall how Professor Gerald was a good person before losing the granddaughter he loved. In Eggman's case, now that he has Sage, perhaps a similar story is playing out in reverse. Nah. Eggy will nah. always have a harebrained scheme behind his cufflinks. So watch out, critters and plebeians of the world. He is the Eggman, and he's got the master plan. <laughs> Quiz, you gotta help me. <laughs> All right, where is the here it is? Oh God, buffering, buffering. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, all things considered, <sighs> Bowser or Eggman? I don't know. Like, hearing that Sage has control over the entire Armada, I feel like it could run into a situation similar to how Iron Man doesn't have to be on the battlefield in order to actually, like, fight, per se. But at the same time, like, they listed off all these different, like, bots that uh, Eggman has. But at the same time, he can only be, really be plugged into one at a time. So having that entire list doesn't really matter, right? I mean, Bowser is just the same thing, though. Like, you can't be, like, all forms at once. I feel like you'd have to, like, swap between them, right? That makes... Yeah. Nah, I'm still going Bowser. All right, moment of truth time. Let's rock and roll. Oh, no. Oh no! Now the base for my upcoming Eggman land too. What a joke. <laughs> He's made an announcement. This looks so clean. <laughs> Call him a nerd. It's crazy that they're giving him over or uh which one is that? Isn't that Wyvern already? Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> oh no, Metal Sonic. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Bowser Jr., no! Oh, Fury Mode! <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, can the shield withstand it? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Whipped. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was about to say Metal Sonic is carrying this fight. Oh, that doesn't matter. He can reanimate the skeleton. <laughs> oh my god, it's Yep Curly plotting <laughs> Mario's comes across as more cartoony. But as it turns out, Bowser well, that's the thing. First up is physical stats. Yep. Bowser pretty handedly outmatched any of Eggman's usual mechs, like the. Alright, so uh, let's see if I was right. Bowser's space traversing vehicles matched the speed of Eggman's vehicles. Both had arguments for incalculable speeds given equal level levity. Both potentially scale above dimension manipulation feats from Antasma, Kulex, Arizor, Dish, and Void. Yeah, I, I honestly called that though. Like, Bowser himself, even if all the like armies were gone, like, it's gonna come down to Bowser versus Eggman themselves, and there's no way Eggman could battle Bowser alone. <laughs> Aside from power-up items, both could manipulate minds, create duplicates, and alter space-time. However, Bowser had a significant... Wait, Bowser's army resisted Fawful's mind control spray and thus could resist Eggman's similar attack. Oh! ...having access to the majority of his abilities at all times. Yeah, Eggman can do some crazy stuff, but only across different mechs, fortresses, or space bases. Bowser's all natural. He's got all his best powers built in. Robot, meaning he wins the war of attrition. He even had counters for battle enders like the metal virus and spatial displacement trap. Context matters for those weapons and both backfired in the past. But more importantly, Bowser could simply reverse the effects with his transmutation magic. Conversely, most of Eggman's robots Oh are god. To say a frog or a block with no reliable way back. Bowser takes the edge in powers, but definitely not for intelligence. Come yeah. On. You have a four digit IQ Bowser? Really? That's cute. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> not an idiot. Usually, just really, really clumsy. Poor fella. Meanwhile, Eggman's an engineering genius who. You're, you're literally going up against a scientist. Of course, he's gonna have intelligence. As in, items so powerful they could decide. 
the entire outcome on their own. The Phantom Ruby was super dangerous, but specifically targets for Achieving Super Eggman in the egg field required weeks of energy gathering on a modified Phantom Ruby prototype. Bowser using the Wonder Flower could warp reality at a universal range in a shorter time. Bowser can also warp stars without power-ups. Also, Super Eggman was countered by positive chaos energy, which shares similarity with the pure hearts. Yeah, even if that that was even if they did give him Super Eggman, like it's it's the same case with regular Supersonic, is that it's a temporary form. Unlike Bowser's Wonder Flower, which mucks up reality for real. The Ruby affected a whole planet, but the Wonder Flower. Oh, I just I'm sorry, I just noticed that. They were actually showing like different alternate scenarios. That's so cool. I really hope they're going to start doing that from now on. That's I, I've been saying that for the longest time, that they should, like, show, like, different alternate endings. Or, like, because so many times they're like, oh, well, they could win in this scenario. Okay, can we see, like, an animation or, like, a clip of something like that? Because, you know, like, what if you really, like, as one character and you got to see them die? Like, what if you want to see them win, even if it's not actually, like, the real result, you know? Just my two or three cents. Also, the Drain Stone's ability to wish anything out of existence would have no problem cleaning up Super Neo Metal Sonic or Time Eater. Their most prized possessions was a tougher call. Together, the Chaos Emeralds can break the universe, but so can the Grand Stars. Arguably not as much given the Emerald scaling to Solaris, though Power Stars and Grand Stars are far more plentiful. Clearly, this is getting fairly abstract, and both had multiple options that could win the day instantly. So the safest bet is to call this category a tie. Let's see, the Pure Hearts counter the Time Eater and Paradox Prism, because they can restore space, time, and nullify destructive forces like the Chaos Heart. These could scale to their multiverses, which are theoretically infinite in scopes, sh sharing similar cosmological interpretations based on statements from both series. Which means it's finally time to compare their army. Army. Eggman seems deadlier at first glance. I mean, look at all those buzz saws and rockets. Metal Sonic speed and power alone could solo most of them. No, no joke. Metal Sonic fucking carried that. Notoriously terrible team player. His alliances are practically guaranteed to fall apart. Hell, in Sonic Generations, he could barely manage working with himself. Eggman's <laughs> army is designed to be controlled by just him. To Eggman, it's harder to command those with free will. Hence his rivalry with the free-natured Sonic. Meanwhile, the Koopa Troop follows Bowser because they actually like him. They train really hard to cover each other's weak points, giving them plenty of advantages as this war progressed, like battlefield control. To I never even thought about that. Paint. And since the Koopa Troop doesn't rely that much on... No, I, I, I really didn't think, like, army synergy, like, that, that's... Uh, I can't believe that's a thing. Bowser Jr. Comic and King Boo could cross between dimensions, countering Sage and Infinite, banishing them to cyberspace or null space. King Boo possessed the Gets technology, a form of paranormal invasion Sage has never encountered. Okay, the speaking of Bowser Jr. and Sage, I gotta say, it is actually very nice that they actually survived the battle. I mean, sure, Bowser Jr. got whacked, but, you know, at least they didn't die. Thank God. The, thank God the kitties are uh, are alive. But sadly, Sage is now uh, an, an orphan. Oh. On technology, Sage's hacking potential had little use. Also, secret weapon? Kamek is kind of busted. Canceling Metal Sonic's power copying, stealing the Phantom Ruby, and potentially swapping the Chaos Emeralds were huge game changers. Add on that Bowser and his army can use any Mario power. Sage's knowledge of the Titans relied on her data augmented by the Ancients as a Mario and Luigi brothership. Bowser's army numbers well over 98 million without data on the Koopa Troop. It's unlikely Sage could compute a surefire strategy against such an innumerable bot of power-up permutations. You know, it's it's funny that they mention brothership, but, like, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, it's what, just basically saying a higher number? But, like, still, being able to... 
combinations that the Eggman Empire just could not actively plan against. Even with Sage's millions of plans to take down the Titans. Yeah, here we go. Bowser, a truly loyal army, more useful inherent abilities, stronger base form. Yep. Called it. Cosmic and reality warping powers, equivalent strength via forms. Comics mind control of magic was ineffective. But it doesn't matter. Comics still has magic that can basically warp reality. Far more intelligent, cosmic and reality equivalent. Strength via of mechs. Less efficient leadership, Sage's technopath or technopathy. Oh, uh, it's ineffective. Army is mostly vulnerable to transmutation magic. God. It, it's, it, it just boils down to another one of those magic versus science arguments. She thought them to be unbeatable, which Sonic proved was incorrect. Just comparing their conquests makes it clear. The Eggman Empire took over the whole planet, but Bowser's troop conquered most of the universe. Eggman was no pushover. His wit, power output, and ridiculous machines gave Bowser the biggest fight of his life. But the Koopa King's ludicrous strength, abilities, and united forces ultimately prevailed. Eggman tried to poach the king. Yeah. Now he's cracked and scrambled. The winner is Bowser. Yeah, I mean, that, that's another thing that I don't think I mentioned. But, like, even if you somehow killed Bowser... Again, just like they did in the battle, you can easily just reanimate. He can easily reanimate his skill or skeleton with his magic. So, not really, you know, killable. <sighs> next time on Death Battle. Oh, next time. What the? and join as a member to see more death battle thanks for watching oh god